What's going on, my fellow pocket builders? It is I, the Almighty Lord Pixel, and today we are um, actually doing a little bit of reflecting for New Year. Uh, and so let me just like explain straight away what we're doing. Uh, we're taking a look and ranking the top ten best moments for pocket build of 2019. Also, quick disclaimer, um, I'm not ranking from worst to best, I'm ranking from best to bestest. Just a little notice before we begin. Coming in at number 10, we got Legendary Builders. So, for those of you that are not in the Discord, um, there is a Discord server, you have to the ass link in the description, but there is there are builder ranks where you can earn ranks based on what you build, how what your building skill is, at your creativity, etc., etc., and their the highest rank is legendary builders, and legendary builders are, you know, they're insanely good at doing what they do. They are just they manage to whip stuff up in just an instant. And on on screen there should be a few photos of well, some creations of legendary builders, but it's just you know it's. It's absolutely mad what they can do, and um, I think I just I put them here because because the Discord didn't exist until you know beginning of this year, um, and Legendary Builders didn't really exist until this year either. They um, I decided to put them here because they just they have such a big impact on the community. They're just so inspiring, and you know if you're really having creative block, then they can just give you that extra boost needed to do what you need to do if you want to build something. At our number nine spot, we have holiday items, and these weren't expected at all. We got, um, in October of this year, we got the spooky specials, and then just recently, the uh, Christmas items were added. And certainly, I no one was expecting this until they tweeted about it a few times, but the items they added were just very, interesting and very nice to build, you know, nice little touches, as nice little touches and full-blown builds themselves, and they're just, it was unexpected, and we all appreciated it, and it was definitely one of the better moments of Pocky Build for 2019. Coming in at number eight, we have features and mechanics. So, this isn't every single feature added, otherwise it would be a lot higher up, but I'm saying the smaller features and mechanics that were added along the way, like people riding boats, or riding dragons, or riding horses, or um, freeform, uh, stacking, etc, etc. Just things that definitely enhance the gameplay and help us really, you know, build what we want to build and just unleash our creativity in this game. Coming in at number seven, we have the menu screen, which for those of you that pl started playing later this year, um, you may not know that when you first loaded up the game, it would just send you straight away into the last build you were in. Um, and you could still go back and go back to other worlds that you had done previously, but it would send you right into your last um, played in world. And so then the devs added a menu, and this definitely, you know, helped everybody a lot because then you didn't have to worry about going in and then selecting another world or loading up that world too after waiting for the menu to load in um this definitely you know it just it added so much and it just um helped us a lot with our selection it just organized the game and gave it that feel of oh yeah we're finally playing like a game now <laughs> rather than just tapping and going okay we're going straight into our world here that's, that's what it was for me, at least, and I think it definitely helped the game a lot with its development. At our number six spot, we have the introduction of more developers in this game. So, it, earlier it used to be just um, Janish creating this game, and then he actually started hiring other developers to help him with the game itself. And I'm not saying that you know, because it's at number six that other things are better than more developers being added. This is definitely probably one of the best things for the game, but it's, you know, it wasn't as much of an impact for the community, but it definitely is helping 
more updates roll out and more features being added and more ideas. It's just, it was a really, it wasn't really known by the community, but it was definitely one of those definitely good things that we needed. I said definitely a lot just now. At number five, we have Advanced Rotation, which was added near the beginning of this year. And this was definitely a feature that was just 100% amazing. And though it didn't start out very good, it absolutely just increased and just, it's now just phenomenal. If we never got Advanced Rotation, what game would we be playing? Certainly not a very creative one. And it's just, it's, um, it's incredible that this was added so, not, I don't want to say late into the stage, but it's incredible that this was added just for us as builders. And it's definitely a feature that is up on this list because it is very good. Number four, I actually hinted at this earlier, we have the Discord server. And I didn't, I thought this would have been created earlier, but turns out that it was created March of this year, 2019. And, oh my goodness, <laughs> I cannot express how much this improved the game for me. If I, I, when I started playing Pocket Build, I found it to be, you know, not, not a great game, but definitely a really good game. And then I joined the Discord, and holy moly, that improved my experience so much. Because it just... There's challenges, you can ask for tips, there's so much social interaction. And while there's the subreddit and the Twitter, those aren't as active as the Discord, in my opinion. And just, the Discord is absolutely phenomenal, fantastic, if you haven't joined. What are you doing? Press that link in the description right now. I'm not trying to solve advertising. Like, I genuinely think it's a good place to be. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with number four. Coming in at number three, we have a more significant addition to the game as a whole, and that is the Steam version, Build. Rather than just Pocket Build now, you get rid of the Pocket, now it's just Build, unless you have overly sized pockets where you can fit a computer. Um, but, all jokes aside, Build was amazing. It just, it opened up such a faster way to build, and it just, you know, it it's on a computer, which is, in my opinion, 100% faster than a mobile device. And while some people may prefer mobile because it's all tappity-tap rather than clickety-click, um, it's just, you know, it was definitely a big step for the developers to add a computer version of their game. Number two, we have Ultimate Sandbox Mode, which is, oh my goodness, like, I've been saying that all of these were so significant to the game, but nothing, and I mean almost, almost nothing, was as amazing and groundbreaking as Ultimate Sandbox Mode. This just, like, they said it was for creativity, and then some people were like, but, you know, we, we have to work for some items, but with this added, you can just, there is nothing stopping you. And I mean nothing. When they added this, there was just so much love from the community. People had been asking for this for ages, and when they added it, finally, it just, wow. Like, the game just, it was here, like, really good still, and then it just skyrocketed. There was just nothing stopping you at this point. And... You know, I think it may even be worthy of number one, but there is one thing that was added in 2019 that I think surpasses this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has to be first person mode. Oh my gosh. What a way to spice up your builds. Just what a way to completely unleash your creativity. For those of you that have not tried first person mode, there are none of you out there that have not tried first person mode. It is the craziest thing. Like, we all love the pocket build as a whole. We all thought it was an amazing game. We all thought it was worth our time. And then we tried first person mode and holy mackerel, that just, I'm just blown away by the fact that they were able to do this for the community and just, Phenomenal, just absolutely amazing, incredible. 
it just added so much to the game as a whole. Um, and I just think it's 100% deserving of our number one spot. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you agreed with most of this as previously. Um, I think that, you know, this, this wasn't supposed to be a negative list. It was supposed to be, oh, we had really good stuff and then we had even better stuff that was also added in the game. And so I do hope that, you know, enjoyed obviously. Um, and I do hope that, you know, liked the video. If you did like it, you know, thumbs up button, right, right, right there, wait, yeah, some, somewhere, somewhere here. Um, so, you know, if you it liked it, then you can always, you know, press like, you can always press subscribe, comment down below if you, if I missed any groundbreaking features, and we'll, um, and I'll see how, just how groundbreaking those were, they, I probably missed one or two knowing me. Um, but anywho, thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed, have a fantastic day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.